Hello, Internet Bling here, back with another video, and this is going to be part two of the Etsy Shopify integration. And I'm able to shoot this video today because I got my first sale on Etsy. All pretty exciting. <laughs> I got a nice email off Etsy telling me I'd made my first sale. And when I logged in today, I saw this. Just a quick word before we get into this of, oh, not that. If we look at ads, a few things I've been noticing about advertising on Etsy. It's not like Facebook ads at all, obviously. You can't just spend loads of money. There's no interest targeting, as it were. It's pretty much all based on search engine traffic that you have to optimize yourself. I'm going to talk about that later, but you can see here, got this spike when I first uploaded my first few products. And then this other little spike here was when I actually went in and optimized the listings. We got a few kind of dropped down here, begun to get this, and then it dropped again. And then I added uh, another three products here. So we got a little, we got another little spike. And I mean, it's been quite a while. The order was actually from one of the products I added here initially. And that seems to be getting quite a few clicks well not quite a few it's got about five so i'm gonna scroll down and look i mean i've only spent nearly uh, less than seven bucks overall so it's really not that much i'm just going to blur out the titles obviously but you can see i haven't got that many clicks but okay the one where i got the order has got the most clicks out of all of them Another important point, I was hardly getting any clicks at all until I optimized my listings, which again, I want to talk about that later, but you need to optimize your listings. Um, it's not just a case of using said commerce to import your products from Shopify and then hoping that you're just going to make loads of money. That's not how it works over here. You need to optimize your listings. You need to call your images, certain titles. There's quite a lot of work to do on each listing and in order to get the orders in and indeed the clicks from advertising so we've got that there and you can see there's a few down the bottom that are getting uh, ad views but no clicks at all so obviously they either might need some work or the competition's too high or whatever but we've got a few clicks and one order which is nice and you can see here i've only spent 231 on it <laughs> to get a sale which is pretty decent I guess that's just reliant on the amount of search engine traffic there is for this particular product in a week or a month or whatever. Also, what I noticed is this is ad traffic here. And there's also other traffic as well. If we go to stats, you'll see that uh, I'm getting other traffic as well, right? From Etsy app, Etsy search, Etsy marketing here. And then this is paid traffic here, obviously, Etsy ads, other traffic. Haven't had anything added to favorites. I'm not quite sure what this bit here means, but these are obviously my items. So you do get views from other sources of traffic on Etsy. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yes, you're paying for ads, but you are getting other views as well. So 78 visits in here at all. This looks like quite a low conversion rate, in all honesty. But you can see, you know, have I got so far 57 visits? It's not enough, but I am literally only just starting on uh, Etsy. So, you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles. If we go to orders here, you'll see that I've got the first order and dispatched by today is July the 17th. I need to dispatch by the 21st. That should be easy enough. However, a couple of other things I noticed worth bearing in mind. This is my store, and you can see yesterday I did 345.80 in total. I'm not running any Facebook ads right now. I just want to point that out. All this money came from emailing and then one order from Etsy. You can see here I did 287.94 through emailing, and then this one order is the Etsy order plus tax. That's another thing that I didn't know was going to happen. They pay tax on all orders. So what would have been a 54.95 order on Shopify 
it's actually turned into a 5786 apparently i just looked it up earlier and etsy charges tax on all orders there you go there is that and then if we go to oops not online yeah online store i got this many six orders for emailing and then if we go to other this is the one order from etsy right here so 5786 if we go into orders you can see the order here from charlene and it supplied these tags etsy.com set commerce etsy integration and then the, this is the etsy order number if we then however go into the shine on orders you'll see here that her order has not come in to my app so i'm not 100 percent sure what's happening here all right we're back and i feel a bit silly because all it took after one question posted in the shine on facebook group all it took was to click this button here in the app sync now and that pulled in the order from charlene and it's done exactly what i wanted it's saying fix engraving so we're going to go to the order in etsy and see the personalization here and she wants this so i'll copy that i'll go to the order fix engraving change personalizations and i will do that now is that 20 characters two four six eight. that's 21 that's too many you get 20 per line i believe all we'll have to do is i'm going to put it like that luckily that's enough to fit in two lines we'll click save changes and let's put that in we'll be back to orders that is now yep that's now here auto awaiting payment that will now get processed uh, later on today i think in the meantime you can see here in said commerce the orders here if we go to orders it's quite neat how it's all sort of matched up click the order here you can see I've got the order here it is all good one other thing I will point out is now I do have this order in the first thing I need to do I saw this on a Facebook post while I was looking around earlier by the mighty Ronnie McKenzie and he advises to stay in touch with the customer and at first email them something a bit like this I've just mapped it out a little bit in a notepad and the whole point of Etsy is, you know, to give it that personal touch. Obviously on Shopify, you can automate all of this. You may be able to automate it on Etsy as well. I haven't looked into it, all of this yet because this is my first order. But I'm about to email her in a minute. I just want to reach out and say thank you so much for your order. I've only just started selling on Etsy. We just wanted you to know that we'll have this sent out to you ASAP. If you have any questions or other queries, please do not hesitate to ask. I'm always ha happy to help, etc., etc., etc. So this is to get reviews, positive reviews, and start upping your reputation over on Etsy. So I'm going to copy this and to email the customer, you do this here, you send a message, and I'm just going to paste that in, and I'm going to email it. And that's as far as we can go right now. She's had her email. I emailed her. The mail I got from the Facebook group earlier, this little one here, I mailed her that. And once the order gets processed by Shine On and sent out and tracking is added to the order, I'm not sure just yet if said commerce will send that over to Etsy or I'll have to do that manually. I will find that out once the order is processed and I'll get back to this video then and add information in. All right, we're back with the final little bit of this video. I have been waiting a few days to make this just because I wasn't sure what would happen to orders once they were shipped out from Shine On and I didn't know what would happen with the tracking numbers. I initially assumed that I would have to manually add them into Etsy, but that's not the case, which is really nice. Also, what happened since I shot the earlier bit of this video is that I got another order. So that's two up to now. Woohoo. <laughs> um, it's pretty awesome, though, because if you look at. No, if we look at ads. 
you'll see that for this $119.90, I've only spent $9.39, which is really crazy. The ROAS is up through the roof. That's pretty nice. And what happened, I was waiting, as you might know, for the products that were ordered in Shine On app to change from in production, as this latest one is here, to for the status to change from that to shipped and to get the tracking number. And as I said, I just thought that I might have to manually put those tracking numbers in, but that's not the case at all. The instant the orders, the Etsy orders went to shipped, the tracking numbers were automatically imported into Etsy by said. So if we look in here, you'll see that the orders are now completed. That's changed there in here and then if we go to orders in etsy there's nothing in new because the two orders i originally had were completed and the tracking numbers were just automatically imported without me having to do anything so that's really nice also i had notifications in my email that emails have been automatically sent to the etsy customers with the tracking numbers in them so everything's pretty much hands off which is really nice. It means I didn't have to do anything. So once you're fixed up with said, all you have to really do is concentrate on making the orders and everything else is pretty much hands off. That's about it for this video. Don't need to really say anything else. Orders and fulfillment is handled. Just one last thing. The, the little message that I was on about in the earlier in the video this which i was manually pasting into customers you can fix it up so when you receive an order this is automatically sent to the customer and all you do is you go to settings here and the first tab that pops up info and appearance scroll to the bottom and paste in your little email here what you want to send to the customer so that's helpful that'll automate that step as well and then lastly, there was a thing where I saw you can auto fix it up to send a discount code to the customer as well. I haven't got around to that, but that's worth investigating as well. So that will be it for this video. It's really nice to see Seds Commerce working in the background, handling stuff. And for the price, I think it's worth it. As long as you can maintain two orders a month, it'll pay for the app. So that's it. Off to the races. All right, I'm going to do a part three where I talk about optimizing your search engine stuff for your listings because I think that's really helped me. And I'll see you in the next video.